Good morning, guys. We are going to continue with the ratios today, and we are going to look at a couple more word problems. Uh, this video will be um, hopefully <laughs> a lot shorter than the last video, um, but we are going to be using the same uh, statement over and over again and comparing other statements to it to see if it's true or false. So our main statement, I know it's kind of small, but it's a uh, um, kind of paraphrased right here, says, case has seven bottles of water for every five cans of Mountain Dew for a seven to five ratio. So he has seven bottles of water, five cans of Mountain Dew. Seven bottles of water, five cans of Mountain Dew. And we want to look at some of these. Um, and we want to, it's frozen, so that's why it's not what I want to be. And we want to compare this statement down here to this up here. So once again, he has seven bottles of water for five cans of Mountain Dew. And my first statement says if Case has five bottles of water, he should have seven cans of Mountain Dew. Is this a true statement regarding what the ratio was at the top? No, it's not because you notice the numbers are flip-flop. Mountain Dew's five, water's five, uh, water's seven, cans are seven. It's different, so it's not correct. This would be a um, false statement. This is not true. And that goes back to um, back to the fact that order matters with this. Order matters and labels matter. That if we don't have the right order, if we don't have it labeled correctly, it's wrong. Let's try the next one. Once again, seven water, five Mountain Dew. And now it says if Case has 14 bottles of water, he should have 10 cans of Mountain Dew. We're going from water to water here. Uh, Mountain Dew to Mountain Dew there. Let's see how that happens. We had seven water here, 14 water here. How does seven become 14 times two? And now if this would be an equivalent ratio, if this would be a true fact, we'd have to that same um, factor of two over here as well. Well, it is five times two, 10. That is, so that'd be a true statement. So we can say if case has a ratio of seven water to five Mountain Dew, that's the same as having 14 water, 10 Mountain Dew, because they both um, can be multiplied by a factor of two. The next one says if Case has 35 bottles of water, he should have 49 cans of Mountain Dew. So water, water, Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew. How does seven become 35? By multiplying by five. How does five become 49? Um, not by multiplying by five. It'd be times uh, like nine something, but it's not gonna be multiplied times five. Because if I said times five, five times five would be 25, not 49. That If that was 25, that would be a true statement, but since it's not 25, that makes this a false statement. Okay. Now it says, what happens if Case has 50 cans of Mountain Dew? He should have 70 bottles of water. Now this is, this is where we have to be careful um, because we have to make sure of our labels are in the correct spot. So they flip-flopped Mountain Dew and bottles of water for the past previous questions, the previous questions. So when we draw our lines, we have to make sure we're going to the correct spot. Water, water. So seven becomes 70 and five becomes 50. Well, how does seven become 70? How does five become 50? We're going to multiply those both by 10. And since they both have the same factor, we would say those are equivalent ratios. So this would be a true statement. So the main point on this one is make sure that you're comparing water to water, Mountain Dew to Mountain Dew. Whatever you're comparing, make sure you're uh, watching your labels to make sure you're comparing the right thing. This one is where it gets a little tricky. It says if Case has 48 drinks, 20 of them should be Mountain Dew. Well, we have Mountain Dew, but we don't have anything about drinks. You know that? Um, but we can figure that out. Uh, so how does... 5 become 20. This is Mountain Dew, this is Mountain Dew. I'd have to multiply that by 4, right? And 5 times 40 mean 20 cans of Mountain Dew. So we have 20 Mountain Dews. Well, if I multiply that by 4, in order to keep my, this, in order to make an equivalent ratio, I'd have to multiply this by 4. But it's, I can tell you now, it's not going to be 48, because this is drinks, not water. If I multiply the water by 4, just like I do Mountain Dew, I'm left with 28 waters. Well, after multiplying, multiplying them both by 4, if I have 20 here and 28 here, 28 waters, how many total drinks do I have if I have 20 Mountain Dews and 28 waters? I'd have 48 drinks. So that is what it says there. So that's a true statement. 
<coughs> so we need to be careful when they can uh, give us words like drinks and combine things to make sure that we uh, don't just say, hey, times four, not times four done, that we're saying, okay, I keep my Mountain Dews, I have to my waters, and then add those together to figure out how many drinks I need total. And this one says if Case has 72 drinks, he should have 30 cans of Mountain Dew. So same type of thing. Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew, I would say times six, and that would be 30 cans of Mountain Dew. Okay, this is drink, so I'm not trying to multiply this to become this, because this is water and this is drink, so those are different labels. But if it's an equivalent ratio, I still need to multiply it by that factor of six. So times six would leave me at 42 water. Be 42 water. If I add those together, that gives me a total of 72 drinks. So if Case has 72 drinks, 30 of them should be Mountain Dew. Yeah, that looks right. 72, 30. Looks good to me. And I think this might be our last one. Let's see here. If Case has 40 cans of Mountain Dew, he should have a total of 72 drinks. So now be careful. Mountain Dew was over here. Now it's back over here. So how does 5 become 40? I'm going to multiply by 8, which gives me a total of 40 cans of Mountain Dew. For the equivalent ratio, we must multiply both numbers by the same factor. So we do 7 times 8 to get 56 bottles of water. 56 waters. Add those together. That leaves me with 96 drinks. And that is not the 72 drinks I said it should be. So this would be a false statement. Right. This is pretty similar to your homework. You have some questions that kind of go back to the Kahoot yesterday and go back to the um, assignment on Monday. But besides that, this should give you an overall good uh, head start on what you need to do for today. So uh, do your assignment. Do your best. If you have questions, contact, ask them. And besides that, have a great day. And I will be talking to you guys tomorrow. Uh, see you guys.